Our country has lived through a time of torment. It's now a time for healing. We want to have faith again. We want to be proud again. We just want the truth again. It's time for the people to run the government and not the other way around. Hello, I'm Jason Carter. My grandfather, President Carter, will have his 100th birthday in October. I call him Papa, and I can tell you that he wishes he could be here tonight. For my grandfather, it was never about fame, recognition, accolades, or awards. His legacy is measured by the lives he has touched and the good he has done. Kamala Harris carries my grandfather's legacy. Mm. Wow, that is an important statement. That was Jason Carter, the grandson of former President Jimmy Carter, speaking at the DNC in Chicago last night, 48 years after his grandfather accepted the Democratic nomination at the 1976 DNC in New York City. And Jason joins us now. He is chairman of the Carter Center. Um, and I'll second what you said. I think the entire life legacy of the Carters is really a North Star for this Democratic ticket. Um, and I think we're all wondering um, not only how he's doing, but the, the significance of you being there representing former President Jimmy Carter last night. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, you know, he's doing well. He has, as you know, been in hospice for 18 months. Uh, his body is very physically diminished, but he's um, he's doing well. He's sort of remarkably engaged in these moments and uh, is excited uh, about the prospects that we have to sort of turn the page on this era that we've been living in uh, uh, with Donald Trump as uh, sort of a constant presence in our politics. So, Jason, there's early voting starts in Georgia. I think I'm right. You were saying in about um, October. It's when your grandfather will turn 100. Is he going to be voting? Is he how, how much is he aware of what's going on on the tip kit and what's happening with the Democratic oh, Party at the moment? I mean, he's super aware. He's got a, a very uh, engaged moment right now. He had a little bit of a low, as you can imagine, after my grandmother passed. They were married, of course, for 77 years. Um, but he just recently was we were talking about his 100th birthday and he said, yeah, I'm excited about that. But I'm really excited to vote for Kamala Harris. So he's engaged uh, like, like a lot of people in Georgia, pretty energized by the current moment. So Carter, of course, the most famous name in Georgia politics. <laughs> uh, and it's a state that a few months ago looked like it was slipping away from Democrats. It seemed that Donald Trump was going to put it back in his column after losing it in 2020. But now with, with the vice president atop the ticket, a, a surge of enthusiasm, what's your read on, on, on the state and where it could go? So, I mean, one of the things that's remarkable about Georgia is in that last election, we just elected a Republican governor and a Democratic senator. So there's folks in Georgia that look past partisan politics that are really ready to... Uh, you know, vote particularly on the candidates. And so I think Kamala Harris has a real opportunity. The, the ground game was already built. We've got 20 something offices in the state uh, and you've got a real significant, significant amount of jolt of energy. And so all that combines to say that, you know, it's a swing state. And, and I think I feel pretty good about it. Certainly the momentum. Jason, good morning. Great speech last night. Well done. Uh, I'm, I'm curious to hear what your grandfather thinks about the transition from President uh, Biden, who was a good friend of his and has been for many, many years, to Kamala Harris. When you spoke to him, what was his view of the way this this move, this switch has been made? Look, you know, so Joe Biden was one of my grandfather's very best friends. Um, they, uh, he was the very first senator to endorse my grandfather in, in 1976. Uh, so they've both been around here uh, for a long time. But I think my grandfather was proud that Joe Biden took a, a courageous uh, decision to pass the torch. I think also, you know, we've been doing work across the world uh, on democratic elections in different contexts. It is very rare for a sitting president to say, you know what, uh, it's time for somebody else to, to, to take over here. And and the fact that he did that, I think, drew a lot of respect, uh, a lot of acclaim from from my family. And I think that's not surprising, given how we've always held uh, the Bidens in that that type of uh, real respectful esteem. You know, looking at these pictures they of Jimmy so Carter. Oh, oh, I know. They're extraordinary. <laughs> you know, people have always said, oh, you know, the greatest uh, 
uh, post -presidency. post presidency ever. You you the further it's just like mm -hmm. Harry Truman. The further you get away from his presidency, the yeah. more you realize that his presidency in many ways shaped the world positively. The way we live today, 1979, the opening of China, it started globalization, globalization again, some challenges, but also it's put America uh, as the preeminent economic power on the face of the earth. The Camp David Accord stopped ground wars in the Middle East. Uh, for the past 40 years, just absolutely extraordinary. You look at the resistance uh, to, to communism, uh, his human rights uh, campaign, to communism, uh, his joining up uh, with the Polish Pope, uh, the, the, the nine days that changed the world when the Polish Pope first went to Poland and, and working with a certain Polish national security advisor as well. Uh, but the resistance in Afghanistan, uh, the real cracks in the wall that started to bring down the Berlin Wall a decade later, that started under Jimmy Carter. That started in 1979. An extraordinary presidency as well as post-presidency. Absolutely. The grandson of former President Jimmy Carter, Jason Carter, thank you very much for coming on the show this morning. Thank you guys so much for having me, and I appreciate the uh, history there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> nice. All right. Thank you, Jason. Coming